Hey, what's up, you guys? WWE Fan 0599 here again. And welcome back to WWE Fans TV Recap Show. And today's recap show will be for The Muppets. So, this week's episode of The Muppets is entitled Too Hot to Handle Her. Now, before we get into this episode, of course, there will be spoilers. So, if you have not seen the episode, you know, don't watch this review, but if you have seen the episode, or if you just don't care about spoilers, just continue on watching, because we we all love each other, and never mind. Okay, but, so yeah. Um, so what this episode is basically about, it's about, you know, the, uh, Scooter. Apparently his name wasn't Walter. Uh, I, there were eight episodes, and never mind. So yeah, uh, Scooter, he has this major crush on Chelsea Handler, who used to be like this talk show host and whatever. And, you know, she he wants to go out on a date with her. And, you know, also, also and like a sort of a side plot, uh, Kermit and Fozzie, you know, uh, she, you know, Fozzie wants her girlfriend to move in with her. So Kermit wants to try and know her a little bit more to see if there's anything shady about her. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So what I think of this week's episode? Another great episode. I'm honestly really, really digging this show. It's honestly a great, great series. I love this series. It honestly is. And, you know, you know, I've I've loved this series, you know, a whole bunch. Like it was just it's just great, you know. Just a great, great episode, honestly. So yeah. So let's get into some of my positives. And my positives are the acting the episode. The acting was really, really good in this episode, you know, just some really good acting in my opinion, you know. Just, just some really good acting. Everybody did a great job. As always, you know, I really enjoyed, you know, everybody in this episode, you know, just did, did a really great job. So, yeah. The comedy, the comedy, of course, really works in this episode. Some, just some very, very funny moments throughout the episode. You know, I had, had, really, had some really good laughs. So, yeah, just some really funny moments in this episode. You know, so, yeah, just... Have blast, just some funny moments in the episode. Some of the writing was, the writing was really good with this episode, of course. Some really good spot on writing, in my opinion. So yeah, just some really good writing, in my opinion. Great, really good writing. So yeah, the directing, the directing's absolutely great with the episode. Of course, my favorite thing about the episode, and they actually make fun of it in a way in this episode. Like when Kermit's talking to the camera, he's you know like talking and talking, and then he's like, he's like Sam. You know, Sam the Eagle, he's like, oh, oh, you were talking to me? I thought you were doing one of those interview thingies. And he's like, no, I'm not doing one of those interview thingies. Just, that was so funny. Just the way that was executed. So, yeah, just... So, I just like that they little, uh, poked fun of it a little bit in this episode. So, yeah. Like I said, love this mockumentary type directing with, the, uh, with this series. So, yeah. But, let's talk about some of the moments that happened in this episode. And... First, let's talk about, you know, when Scooter goes to ask Chelsea Handler out. You know, it just becomes a big old mess when he tries to ask her out. He starts spilling stuff, knocking over everything, and it's just a big old mess. And Scooter's like, you know, I just wanted to ask you out and whatever. And Chelsea says, yes. So, yes, so they do go on a date. We'll get into that later on. But, you know, then when we see, you know, Fozzie and Kermit at, you know... This like trivia place, this restaurant that does trivia, and you know, uh, Betsy's really, really good at the trivia, and you know, Kermit has his suspicions or whatever. When she drops her pencil, well, supposedly drops her pencil, Kermit looks underneath, down, and you see her on her phone, and Kermit thinks she's cheating. Now, at first, when I thought, when he thought she was cheating, I thought she meant he meant by that she was cheating on him, like cheating on him, you know, uh, like because I thought he was gonna say, oh, she must have been texting another person, and then when he said, oh, she was cheating, like to get the answers and stuff, I was like. Like, I'm like, really? Like, so, just, that was, that was just funny, because I thought it was, because I thought it was the other type of cheating, and just, that was too funny, so yeah. So then when we see, you know, uh, Scooter and Chelsea go on their date, uh, you know, they're having a nice time, whatever, whatever, and then they kiss, and Scooter's like, I never went this far, I gotta go, like, he gets out of there, he freaks out, because... Of course, this has never happened to him before, so that was funny. That was really, really funny, so yeah. 
Then we see when, you know, Kermit, uh, Betsy stops by, you know, the office to pick up Fozzie so they can go to lunch. And Kermit asks, starts asking all these, like, trivia questions. And everybody but Betsy answers them. Like, I forgot who answered the first one, but he answer it, answers it before Betsy. And he's like, that was supposed to be for Betsy. And, like, it just keeps on happening and happening. And then Fozzie's like, and then Kermit's like, Fozzie, your girlfriend cheated. She cheated to get the answer. And then we find out. Then we find out that Betsy was just trying to get, trying to, you know, win something off of eBay. It was a fanny pack for Fozzie, really, a fanny pack. But, you know, Kermit is like, oh, 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 no, no, like, he is distraught. And, you know, they like, they're like, how could you think she's a cheer, blah, 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 and they go into the elevator. And Kermit is distraught, as, you know, as you would expect. Then when we see, you know, Scooter goes to... Go see Chelsea one more time. You know, he's like, let's just take it easy, you know. Let's just take it easy, you know. Take it, like, ten steps back. So, you know, so they're still going to be together, I guess. So, that that's good, you know, the, I guess. So, they're still going to be together and stuff. So, yeah. Then the final moment of the episode, we see, you know, uh, Kermit and Fozzie. They have, they're having, like, an argument while Fozzie's trying to do these, uh, promotional ads, I guess, for, like, the TV show for, like, Memphis and stuff, so, that was just where we find in Elvis impression and stuff, and when we see, you know, Kermit's like, I apologize, I'm sorry, I just thought you couldn't look out for yourself, and, you know, Fonzie's like, it, it's okay, but I can look out for myself and stuff, and Kermit's like, so, well, what happened with you and Betsy moving in together, and he was like, oh, that's just taking it way too fast, I'm like, so all of this for nothing. <laughs> so yeah. So uh, let's get into my negatives because I do have a few negatives with the episode, and my negatives are there were some moments in the episode where like the comedy didn't really work and was really flat at times. And just some of the moments in the episode, like there were some comedic moments in the episode that just felt really, really flat in my opinion. So yeah, just some comedy moments here and there, and the whole thing with Fozzie and Kermit was kind of just. Eh, like, when they argued and stuff, you know, when, like, they got into that huge fight with each other, I just thought, you know, it was really unnecessary, and it really was just, didn't really work for me, like, it's just didn't really need to be in the episode, so yeah. But besides that, I really enjoyed the episode, it was another great episode, I really enjoyed it, so yeah. So it's time for my first grade on this episode, and my first grade on this episode is A-. minus. Honestly, another great episode from The Muppets. I'm really enjoying the series, so yeah. So what do you guys think of The Muppets? Leave it in the comment section below. And I'm WWE Fan 0599, and we'll see you about later. Peace.